Your video with Nika. So I know you guys have always wanted to see just a pure packing essentials video. So I'm gonna show you guys how I pack my makeup, my hygiene, my carry-on, everything from start to finish. So I first wanted to pack my makeup. I am going to Houston, Texas for a weekend girls trip. So you guys know you guys will see a vlog. But honestly, because I've never been to Texas, I know that the weather is probably very, very the weather is probably very, very hot. So I wanted to pack minimal makeup. So will you guys believe that I fit all my makeup and my brushes in this thing? I got this off Amazon for about $12. I'm actually shocked that I was able to pack my makeup. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, I got this off Amazon and the top part has my makeup brushes and then all my primers. So I'm gonna pull out things and then repack them for you guys. So the first things in here are, I am taking my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I always like to basically see where am I going and then that's how I set like what makeup I am gonna take. So I am bringing this. Um, I put out all my travel stuff. So my Urban Decay Eye Potion Primer, my Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner, because if I don't do a lot of makeup, at least I can do some, some concealer, mascara, and, and eyeliner. I'm taking my Fenty Full Throttle um, Mascara. This is probably going to be the last time I use this. Then my Smashbox Oil Control um, Oil and Shine Control Primer. Just to control it. When I think about Houston, I'm just like, girl, make sure you're mattified. Because your oil is going to pop through. Of course, I'm taking my Black Beauty Blender. And then I am taking the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. This is like suck your face in a bottle so i'm hoping it really works in houston so yeah that is it for this section so i'm gonna put everything back everything is more like a prime i don't feel like i'm gonna wear a lot of makeup um if i do it's gonna be predominantly concealer brows so in here is my brushes um normal typical brushes except what i recently did add is this real techniques mini multi um multitask brush i'm gonna use this as my powder brush i got this one off Ulta's website for six dollars another one that I picked up is the elf blending brush so I can use this to contour um contour or bronze my face and then I'm not gonna go through all the brushes but I have my standard blending brushes eye brushes my spoolie for my brows my concealer brush highlighter brush and then blush brush so that's the top row right here I do like that it has this plastic covering so I could cover it up and then seal it so that's the top row and it is compact I will say that like you can see I'm doing some tugging and stuff a little tug and pull but because it's brand new I'm like yeah you gotta stretch out so let's go on to the bottom which is makeup which I actually could put these in my hygiene I'm gonna put these actually in my hygiene so for makeup, very, very minimal. Let's start with lips. I am taking my two lip liners from Juvia's Place. So I am taking a brown, which is brownie. And then I'm taking Scorpio, which is more like a dark muted um, red. Then my two lip go-to lips is my NYX Butter Glosses. I have Rocky Road, which of course is gonna be my red. And then I also have Praline. And I could probably throw these in like my carry-on, but I don't need a gloss while I'm on there. And then just to add some like gloss gloss, I'm going to bring my Fenty Hustle Hussy and <laughs> their lip balm. For brows, I'm bringing my Sephora Waterproof Brow Pencil. I'm in the shade Chocolate Brown. This is bomb.com. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Shout out to my friend Kaden. She told me to get this brow pencil and I grabbed two of them. When that last Sephora sale, they were 30% off. This is definitely better than the next brow pencil. It's probably just as good as the Benefits Precisely My Brow. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna even front. For lip balm, I'm bringing my Jack Black lip balm. Um, I just went through my whole like arsenal. I was like, let me pull out my lip balm. Foundation, I'm bringing the Fenty Skin Tint. I'm in the shade 21. Because I'm going to be in such a hot weather, I feel like this will be good. I don't want anything heavy. This is very light on the face. And then if I didn't want to wear any type of foundation, I am bringing, which I'm going to set this with this, is my Fenty Soft Pro Filter Matte 
um powder this is in the shade 450 you guys know you could wear this by you could pretty much wear this alone or by yourself this is the exact shade match so i'm in 450 and all of fenty's products so these two could work together or this could just work by itself if i want to do a powder look for highlighter i am gonna bring the beauty bakery highlighter this one is in the shade worth the risk this one is a really good highlighter by the time you guys see this video or after you guys see this video you will see me using this in the, the video my setting powder you guys already know my go-to my laura mercier medium deep setting powder and then i'm only taking two eyeshadow palettes because i really wanted like a very minimal minimal makeup eye look so i'm bringing my anastasia quad this is a custom quad that i created and it pretty much has i'll show you guys it has you know a transition shade a copper and some pops of color because i wanted pops of color and then i am bringing my juvia the nubian by juvia's this is just the mini quad i didn't get the full size again so i purchased this one because it does just as good so i'm kind of going neutrals with pops of color with these two quads so yeah that is it for the makeup now let me put everything back and we'll go on to the rest of the hygiene stuff. All right, you guys, so here's the hygiene bag. So yeah, this bag, Kate Spade, you guys know I've had this for years. If I can find the link or something similar, I'll post this down below along with the makeup bag. So this one, I really wanted to do like an all-in-one. You guys know I'm always carrying like multiple bags and I was like, I'm not doing that this time. So I basically put in all my hygiene, so body washes, skincare, everything in here, and you guys will see I pretty much did minimal so my hair oil this is the miles almond hair oil i used this on my last trip so i pretty much kept it um i did go through and declutter not declutter but like take out excess stuff um this time around don't judge the twin snack bag <laughs> but this time around um i did find after cleaning a cabinet that these are my travel like skincare um cleansing face washes this is the olay brand i remember a long time ago someone told me that it's better to travel with these so you don't have to use the actual hotel towels so i put enough in here two for um each day that i'm gonna be there so i have about six or eight in here I have my Dermalogica pre-cleanse and my Soy Fresh uh, cleanser just so I can like cleanse on top of cleanse. And then my moisturizer is going to be my um, Belief moisturizer just for like nighttime. And then I still have contacts in here. I'm not going to go through everything but I pretty I have contacts. My fragrances that I am going to be taking is my Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. And then I will be taking I Don't Need a Princess uh, by my side to be a princess. To be i don't need a print by my side to be a print as by kalani this was an andrea renee recommendation so i picked this up at sephora so i'm gonna just take these two roller balls this one is a spray and this one's a roll on um let's see i have pads in here not that ain't flow will be here along with liners just in case you never know i have wet wipes i keep these i have so many of these from when the pandemic started last year and then i have my clorox wipes I have my contact solution and contacts if I want to wear my contacts along with my refresh um, eye drops to help my eyes. I have Lysol spray because we will be staying at a hotel for one night. So I'm going to spray down the hotel. Um, and then my toothpaste, toothbrush, mouthwash since it's just me this time around. My body wash for the time I'm going. Got uh, Obviously, you got to have a lotion. Like I don't know about y'all, but I'm not trying to be ashy nowhere. And then my q-tips um because as you guys know i still have to clean my piercings you just never know back here i have feminine wipes i have oh some new stuff that i just added pepto bismol um emergency and drenamin yeah drenamin just in case anybody is sick i don't know i just never know i like to be prepared oh and i got some tylenol packs in here and i also have some claritin because my allergies may decide they want to flare up oh and i have um cleansing makeup like not lens cleansers for my eyeglasses actual eyeglasses so yeah all that's in here so that is it for the hygiene stuff i am going to go ahead and add these makeup wipes the clinique take the day off these were 450 at ulta you get 10 in a pack so yeah put that in here and then i'm gonna start with my clothes and then i'll show you guys how i pack that uh luggage too talk to you in a minute bye You're wondering this is the bag that i will be taking with me this is just my michael kors crossbody bag um 
and then i have this travel wallet but i may not take this i may just bring my own regular wallet it has enough room in here and i like that it's just enough you guys have seen me take this um a lot of times and i was just like eh, i'll just want to take something low key so i'm not pulling out the good good stuff and then for my travel bag my carry-on this is my rebecca mink off bag it already has stuff in here so i need to put my earbuds in here i have a mask i am going to put some more disposables mask in here i have a pin in here because you just always want to take your own pin i'm not sure how the airlines work anymore but if they have still the plug-in um you know sound equipment i am bringing my beats headphones and i'm gonna bring an adapter and then my mofi charger is already charged up to go so i have this ready to go um also so that's just there i just need to put extra earbuds in here to go with my iphone and my adapter and then i should be good on that um inside here for now because i do need to put like my ipad i need to do my charging so right now i have my hygiene like carry on stuff i have my neck pillow and then the book that i have been reading is the other black girl by um takia delay harris and then still enough room once i even take my um my neck pillow out and then my ipad will go in here i'm only bringing my ipad pro i'm not bringing my laptop i really would just enjoy my weekend and then i'll come home and edit anything i vlog my camera will also go in here so i'm gonna put that in here so all my electronic devices will go in here like the day of but i'm pretty much set which i'm actually happy about i packed a few days early so all i need to do is like go in and add stuff cool thing with this rebecca mink off too it has this zipper area so i could just slide this on my um luggage once i land so yeah that is it i'll show you guys what the luggage looks like now it is packed with everything all right you guys so i'm back i put out all my clothes i was looking for some stuff couldn't find it but anyways this is an adidas jacket that i got a few years ago um i like this jacket because it's very lightweight it has the pockets on the side um so i pulled this out because it's just my go-to when i am traveling so i'll wear this on the plane if i step further back it's about hip length um on me so it pretty much touches at my hip so this is my go-to out jacket most of the time i would like to wear this one also during the winter months because you know la doesn't have a winter so this is the if i could find this i'll link it because i really really do like that now let's go on to clothes so i pretty much have pulled out everything over here is a pair of shorts and a tank top for the weekend we're gonna be at a friend's house i want to respect her husband so i'm wearing a sleeve shirt that's lightweight from old navy and some shorts i have five pairs of underwear and a bra two pairs of socks um because the shoes that i am bringing i haven't pulled them out yet but i'm gonna pull them out next outfits options are two pairs of denim jeans one with this silk top a uh, cami top these are the hooligans from nordstrom's um i recently ordered some more during the nordstrom anniversary so the regular price 15 dollars. i paid 9.90 so i got up some more in black and then i'm also packing one in white for like if it gets chilly or like cool down during while i'm there i have this crop top um little hoodie, hoodie pullover and then i'm bringing my adidas track jacket because it's just very lightweight i feel like it'll go for the weather i have my packing cubes when i come home i'm just wearing these adidas leggings and a regular tank top with that jacket so that jacket will go with everything um leaving as you guys can tell i love a bunch of adidas stuff so when i get on the plane i'm gonna wear these adidas leggings and with this just regular basic shirt that i got from victoria's secrets it's their loungewear there's a victoria's secrets outlet in vegas so i picked this up it had to be less than like five dollars but just wearing that and that um to coordinate options depending on how i feel and what i'm wearing this is these shorts from old navy these are high-waisted boyfriend jeans with a graphic tee with tupac so it's a crop top tupac um shirt um option number two if we go out on saturday or if we go out to like a nice little restaurant or something i could wear these little printed um shorts with this hooligan top i do have a bodysuit back there i may bring the bodysuit as a backup option but i'm doing tank tops so as you guys see this um theme here is summer shorts lightweight um tops here's another old navy high-waisted jeans 
high-waisted shorts with a lace print um, tank top. Another option could be an Adidas like crop tank. And then those are my short selections. Right here, these are some dollhouse curvy jeans girl these are so cute these are in a size five i am in a true size five and i'm loving it with a hooligan um sweater a uh, tank top and then i also have these aeropostale boyfriend cut jeans which i still love these are in are these a size five these are a size two girl so it depends on the brand but i really am in a true size five and then this top just came from home goods um yeah, it was TJ Maxx for $10. So I grabbed this up because I knew I was also coming on a trip. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm going to pack everything in the packing cubes, put it in the luggage, and then put my shoes in. And I'll show you guys what my shoes look like in just a minute. shoes i was thinking about bringing in some sandals but i don't know i may throw my i think i am gonna throw my tory birch sandals in here um just so i don't regret it but for now i'm bringing in my vans because your girl likes to rock her sneakers so i feel like these would be cute and i should i am gonna bring my tory birch because if we go like casual at least i can still have my sandals and these some places in Houston doesn't allow sneakers, which is so crazy to me, but it is what it is. So if these are Vans, I got these at Nordstrom's. If you're wondering, I'm a size, what size am I in? Girl, let me tell you, cause I don't want to tell you the wrong size. I'm a seven and a half. Normally I am a women's eight, so I'm a seven and a half women's. And then I'm gonna throw those in there. Cause I already packed my two pairs of socks. Let me show you my Tory Burch slides. All right, you guys. So these are the Tory Burch Miller slides. These are the new style. It comes with the bag. They go London. <laughs> Hello. Okay, let's go. So now we pack into the market. I want to pack too because Reese's and we want to go to the store. We and I don't like to slide and I am afraid of heights. Okay. So these are the new Tory Burch Millers. These are not the flat ones that everybody always gets. They're pretty much the same price. Do I like these? Yes. I'm um, so so, and it comes with a dust bag. So, I'm gonna pack these up. Dang. So, I'll be already packed. Dang. Move. So, Dang. you gotta move, girl. So, these, if you're wondering, I am in a size eight in these. Wondering, I am in a size eight. I should have went down to a seven and a half because this still is a little bit loose on me, but it is what it is. But these still hold up. These are actually, to me, a little bit more softer than the regular Miller's, so I still like them. So I'm gonna throw those in here, and the dust bag is included. So I'll post all the links that I'm talking about down below, so you guys can see it. So the shoes will go right over here, which is cool. I'm super excited that I'm actually getting this stuff packed early because I did not want to be packing late. Another bag option, not sure, just thinking about it. So I'm gonna throw this in here. I got this backpack from DSW. It doesn't even have a brand on here, um, but I feel like this would be cute because it can 
kind of go crossbody or long. So if I don't want to carry my other crossbody, so I'm gonna throw this in here too as an option. So I got two pairs of shoes. I have my sandals and my sneakers because I don't really, I know that we're gonna be doing stuff, but I doubt if we do anything heavy. This bag I always carry, this comes with my packing cube, but I like carrying this because at the end, like as I'm using stuff up, like dirty underwear, whatever's dirty, I put it in here. And then when I get home, I basically just dump it straight into the laundry bin. So I do pack this. Also, if you're wondering, I did already pack a towel. I wanna bring a towel this time. Normally I don't. And then I have my extra bonnet in here along with my head wrap. Your girl is not going crazy. I have my mini flat irons in here. And then I also have, I have my rat tail comb in here. Yeah, my rat tail comb is somewhere in here, but I know I brought that sucker. So yeah, hair stuff already done. Now I'm gonna get the other stuff down and show you guys what everything looks like. Guys, so two pairs of shoes, sneakers, sandals, crossbody. <laughs> Hygiene stuff is good. Makeup is all and good this to go. one and this one and this one. So I could close this. I don't. I feel I close this and this. I feel like I'm missing something, but I know I'm not because this one much, oh, is the bam bam bam. I can shut it on my nail. Okay. So I am missing deodorant, so I do need to put I that in here. That All right, so I do need to put my deodorant in here, um, but I'm gonna put my full size native deodorant in here. So yeah, and then in my carry on, I'm gonna have, I'm missing something. I don't know what I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not, so I'm gonna double check. But yeah, I'm gonna put my deodorant in here because I don't have to bring my actual toothbrush. Oh, and because I'm wearing those sandals, I'm gonna actually put my Neutrogena body oil. I'm gonna pack that in here also because girl i need to make sure i'm not ashy so that's that so now i can zip this up and then over here is just easy two packing cubes i never go more than two packing cubes unless i'm going on an international flight so in here as you guys seen it has pajamas underwear socks um coming home outfit and then jackets over here is all my outfits for the um whole time i'm there which is not a lot and i actually put them i actually pack them in the order like i would wear them so the pants with the top on top of it so i automatically know and i won't get flustered so yeah that is it i'm actually bringing my smaller purple luggage this is travel pro i got this at home goods and i'll try to link it down below i'll full do a full wipe down i'm good to go so yeah travel essentials video done Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, don't forget to thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Vlogs are coming. Atlanta and Texas vlog is coming. So be prepared to have the hypest vlogs that you guys have probably seen. I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay blessed. Bye.